Alright, karibuni watu wa Kenya, karibuni watu wa Tanzania, karibuni watu wa Rwanda. Welcome Uganda, is my fellow Ugandan, is my fellow Uganda, and you. Yeah, I'm Kenyan. Oh wow. Oh, today we still here on your DLLOS Media, whereby we deal with the daily living lives, daily living lives stories. We do bring for you everything that does happen in people's lives on a daily basis. And today we're going to say how education system in Kenya got strong. Besides me, I'm having a visitor and she's a teacher as well. Please say hi to my people. Hi people, how are you doing? Okay. Welcome back again to this media where we talk about daily living activities and things that are happening in our daily lives. Yeah, mostly here in East Africa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kenya. Karibu, 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 karibu tena, karibu te. Karibu tena. It's the Swahili to be and the English as well. Yes. Next eh? Yeah. But again, I can put in my little guy. Uh huh. Mm. No. Have your <laughs> okay. How is Kenya, by the way? Oh, Kenya, we are fine. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the education system, we are in our first term. First term? Yeah, first term. We need which month? We are in August. August? Yeah. And you're talking of first term? First term. How is it? Uh, like, how did it get to oh, come like this? Okay, we, we are in our first year academically. So, we started our first term few weeks ago. Talk about it. Uh, pupils and the students back to school. Yeah. Actually, as of now? Yeah, they're at school. What? Ugandans, where are you? Oh, they need to answer us. We are waiting for those diplomas. We need the answer. Eh? Yeah. Okay, teacher Njeli oh, yes. Jacinta. Okay. Please tell us, uh, like uh, for us in Uganda, I will talk about Uganda because it's the one I know better. Okay. We start by uh, like we have the baby class, top and uh, like is it a baby class, middle, top, before you join primary one, that's the one. And you guys, how do you do it? Mm, back then we used to have a system of 844. 844? Four. Four. Yeah, 8 years in primary, 4 years in high school, and 4 years in university and those tertiary institutions my jesus but uh -huh. it's for now so it's a system going yeah it's eight a system, for four. Eight for four. and as of now as for now we have in a different system the one that you are calling it is cbc now with the cbc we we have the 2633 2633 yeah wow mm -hmm. yeah the 2633 we have the preschool the pre-primary we are going for two years, the PP1 and the PP2, pre-primary 1 and pre-primary 2. Okay, so yeah. that is what for two years. Kenya, what yeah. Kenya. That's what you see. This is the education system in the Kenya guys we're talking about today. Yeah. Please don't misunderstand this, like don't get like, like Uganda, eh? Uganda thinks I've got to change Nara. Mm -hmm. We're in Kenya today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, after the two years in the pre-primary, they go to the lower primary. After the lower primary, they go to the upper. We have the lower and the upper. And the uppest. And the upper there. secondary. No, <laughs> when <laughs> not the uppest, but after the lower primary, they go to the upper secondary. I thought even the uppest. Yeah? But the upper secondary, we have the grade 7, 8, and 9. Grade 7? In eight Uganda, it's primary 7. Okay, now we have in the grade 7, 8, and 9. So to climb like grade nine as you say mm -hmm. is it the end of a primary section out yeah it's it's like at the end of the primary education because after that they are going to join the higher education if uh, if Alana has qualified to join a university a tertiary institution they are going to join them oh, jesus where are we it's like now they have eliminated the 